So we've seen some great looking web maps today. We've seen some really nice web apps, and these have all been created with the templates that are available with ArcGIS Online, and they're very easy to install. What I'd like to do now is to actually take a look at App Studio. App Studio is how you get your web map onto your native device so you can get it onto your phones and out to your users. So we've got App Studio. Now, we've released a number of enhancements to App Studio over the last uh, 18 months, and you can read about these by going to the blog page. And you can see a, a, great number of, a great amount of information here. I encourage you to read what you can here. But App Studio works by picking template native applications built on top of the ArcGIS runtime. You upload your web map. You then upload some additional components that your application needs, your splash screen, your application icon, et cetera. And App Studio takes care of the rest. It'll compile the application. It'll store the compiled executables in your online account. And then you can download these directly onto your native device. Or if you'd like, if you've got, if you've got an organization that wants to push this information out to uh, constituents, you can put these applications directly into the App Store. And you don't actually have to be a developer to create na native applications. However, there are a number of occasions when you might want more control. And for that, we've got the developer's website. You can build web applications with our JavaScript API, native applications with Android or iOS. You can build desktop applications with Java, .NET, Qt. And Python API, as we've seen earlier this morning, is available here as well. So how do you get started building with ArcGIS? The best place is to click this Getting Started button. And we have Dev Labs. There's over 100 Dev Labs. These are 15-minute tutorials or less. And they really cover all aspects of the work that we do with ArcGIS. And they're a great resource for developers. Moving down here, another favorite of mine is example apps. Example apps are complete applications. They come with source code that you can download from GitHub and a complete tutorial on how that application was built. And they show best practices, not of just using the SDKs from ArcGIS, but they also show best practices for all aspects of building for the platform that you're targeting. Another great place to learn what you can do with ArcGIS is to look at the uh, product pages. And these uh, outline exactly what you can do with individual components of our SDKs. But one of my favorite sections are success stories. Success stories don't tell our story. They actually tell your stories. And one of my favorites down here is a recent one we just added, Command X by Euro Command. This is a really good example of using the web GIS pattern to build an application. It has desktop components. It has web components. It has pieces that work with ArcGIS Online. And it also has pieces that work with its own ArcGIS Enterprise system. So this is a really good example of a situational awareness uh, uh, application built by our partner in Germany. So that's a very quick look at what you can do with the developer resources to get started. What I'd like to do now is pass over to Kerry, and she's got a demonstration of using the ArcGIS runtime and some of the enhancements that we've made over the last few years. Kerry. Thanks, Ewan. So the runtime SDKs so provide support for a variety of your organization's maps and data, whether you're connected or disconnected from the network. So I'm going to show you some examples here, maybe focusing some more on disconnected examples, but we'll see how we go. This is a mobile map package over Shenandoah National Park. and includes rich operational data, along with its cartography. And it includes detailed raster tiles as well. This was built in ArcGIS Pro, packaged up, and put onto my device so I can take it into the field and use it offline without any reliance on the network. So because this is a map, it was packaged together with the data and the symbology. And in this particular case, it also includes a network data set so I can find the best route from my location back to headquarters. One of the really great things about mobile map packages is that you can take a lot of the great content that you're creating in ArcGIS Pro, you could package it up in a way then that just works in the custom apps that your developers are building using the runtime SDKs. So they can focus more of their valuable time building uh, additional great features into their apps. In addition to content created using ArcGIS, runtime also supports se several 
open and industry standard formats that are important to your organizations, including OGC's web map tiled service. This is an example uh, of a scanned FAA chart over Atlanta. We also support OGC's GeoPackage specification, which is for transferring raster and vector data. This is ex an example of some vegetation data over Washington, DC. In addition to the more than 20 raster formats that Runtime now supports, including a few that are important to some of your organizations, such as RPF data, DTED, and NIDIF, we also support electronic nautical charts based on ISO's S57 and S52 specifications. Now, Runtime also supports an experience in 3D for working with your data. In this case, I'm working completely disconnected from the network here, so everything's local to my uh, mobile phone. So we're, we're looking over downtown San Diego, and I have a base map here, a tile package of a, a scanned map. I'll go ahead and switch over to my imagery map, and I can add in some local data. I've got some buildings data here. We can do more than just visualize data, though, in 3D. We can also analyze it in real time using our new exploratory analysis tools, similar to what we support in ArcGIS Pro. So in this case, we're following a vehicle as it's moving through the streets of downtown San Diego. The view shed's being updated in real time using the GPU of, the of my mobile phone. But what might be more useful, since I'm working in 3D, is if I can understand when this vehicle is visible by certain uh, vantage points within the city. So in this case, I'm going to add in another local data set. It's a shape file of some observers within the city. You can see depicted here in magenta. And I'll just create some lines of sight so I can understand what the visibility is of that vehicle from those ob observation points. And I can clearly see here what is visible uh, based on the line segments that are in green versus what isn't visible in red. So this works whether you're working with local data on your device or whether it's 3D content being streamed from a web service. We're really excited that the Runtime SDKs provide comprehensive support for your maps and data, whether you're in 3D or 2D, whether you're connected or disconnected from the network, and whether you're working on mobile platforms or on desktop platforms. And the new exploratory analysis tools allow you to get answers to the questions you have about your data in real time as well.